in this example, uh, it says to find all six trig values. Uh, what does that mean? That means uh, we have to find sine of theta. What does that equal? Well, we already have that. Cosine of theta. We're going to find all of these. So that's, that's what the question is talking about. Uh, find all six trig values for theta, sine, and, and so it gives us that information. And in the red, that's what we're trying to find. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is determine uh, in which quadrant theta is in. So that's the first thing. And then I'm going to use the right triangle definitions um, for, for trig functions. So if I have the unit circle here, I know that sine is negative. Uh, so that means I have something down here. But let's, let's talk about this. All students take calculus. This means that all the trig functions are positive in the first quadrant. This means that sine is positive in the first quadrant. Cosine and tangent are negative here. Tangent is the only thing positive. Sine and cosine are negative in the third quadrant. And cosine is the only thing positive in the fourth quadrant. Sine and tangent are negative. So that's what that means. And we know that sine is negative, so that's somewhere down here, because that's the y-coordinate, this is where you get negative y-coordinates. And it also says tangent is negative. So this is where tangent is positive, so it cannot be in this quadrant, so it must be in that fourth quadrant. So theta is whatever that is, so that's theta. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then um, Let's do the use the right triangle definitions. So I have this. This is the easiest thing. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I'm using so toa. So I can I can use the right triangle definitions. I'm just going to draw a right triangle. It doesn't matter which way it faces. You do have to put in theta. And I know that sine of theta is negative three over five. And I'm going to ignore the signs for this, because when we use right triangles, the right triangle definitions, we don't think about negatives, because we're not having any um, obtuse angles. So the sign of this, sign is opposite, so that's 3 and 5. Um, and this is, uh, you can use Pythagorean theorem, or just the fact that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So, or, or use uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where this is A or B, I'm going to say B, this is, um, sorry, this is B, this is A, just A and B are the legs, C is the hypotenuse, just to remind you, and uh, so we have all that, now we can just use our trig stuff, so this we already have, it was given, cosine, cosine of theta, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5, so that would be 4 over 5, however, um, would it be positive? Yes, it would be positive because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Okay, uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that would be 3 over 4. Would it be positive or negative? Well, cosine is the only thing positive here. Tangent is negative, so I'd say negative. And that's how you do this. Um, I should have written this the other way. There. Remember, uh, cosecant is just 1 over sine. So if we had, you can't see that. If we had 1 over sine, that would be 1 over negative 3 fifths. Flip the second one and multiply. That's the same thing as negative 5 over 3. So this is negative 5 over 3. Secant is 1 over cosine, so that's just 5 over 4. I'm just flipping them over. And this one is negative 4 over 3. And there you go. That's all you got to do. Um, so what did we do? First, we identified the quadrant uh, in which theta lies. And second, we used the uh, right triangle definitions. We used the right triangle definitions to find, I suppose, the regular ones choosing the sign based on the quadrant. So that's that's why we had to figure out which quadrant. That tells us the sign of each of the trig functions. So um, there you go.